Hey, welcome to another episode of Bird Birdcasting. Casting. Today we'll talk about um, Battle of the Bands and uh, a variety of instruments that is not guitar and bass and drums. Oh, but yeah. we'll talk about them too. <laughs> but before that, we would like to thank Las Islas Bottled Gourmet Ulam in a Bottle. They're coming up with new flavors. So check out Las Islas Gourmet on Facebook and Instagram. So guys, Battle of the Bands. Oh yeah. Something that uh, we have a lot of experience with. Mm-hmm. As a band. As a band. As a band. We did that before. Um, to, I know, to raise money. <laughs> yes. <laughs> to, to raise money so that we can produce our self-produced EP released yes. in 2015. Yes, yes. So, you know, to be fair, we were college students that time. So, mm-hmm. it, was, it was kind of acceptable to join... Those you get exposure from joining yeah. Battle of the Bands. Yeah. Yeah. Mo- modus mm. nga natin yun, no, no. Parang, w- alam natin na, modus. Like, b- back then, meron naman na tayong own songs, and then, more or less, nakakapag-perform na tayo regularly. Yet, <laughs> sumasali tayo sa mga Battle of the Bands para makalikom ng pera para sa you know, ating mga project. <laughs> You know, hindi naman siya modus. Naging modus lang siya nung yung mga guest band na, you know, in, in, nilulook up natin sa Battle mm. of the Bands. Ay, alam mo, <laughs> friends na natin. At oh, saka yung mga judge. Hindi, hindi na siya fair. Hindi na 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 fair. May one time na nag-Battle of the Bands tayo sa UP Town Center. Tapos... Um, yung ang band ng Shirley members. Ang daya niyo, oh, Flamingo. <laughs> so, <laughs> embarrass- oh, oh. embarrassing na siya. <laughs> oh, pero... That was one of the last few ata na parang sige, wag na. Mm. <laughs> pero graduate, yung kasi... Na, graduate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, naalala ko meron pa isang, ano, yung mga judge mismo. Mga parang, oy Uy. Nakita Bakit lang yung... tayo last week sa gig, pero... Ba- <laughs> Bakit kayo <Okay>. sumasali? <laughs> pero sabi, sabi na lang natin, alam mo yun, it's a fair way to uh, yeah. get money. I mean, like, it's an honest way to yes. earn money. Because yes, that yeah. time, TFs weren't really a thing. Yeah. Yet. Oh, yeah. Gate shares mm. weren't a thing yet either. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How much money... Like mga 25 digits. Uh, uh. 25,000. <laughs> not so much, but, you know, yeah, for a band that did not have... And for know, broke as college kids. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good amount for us to kickstart our stuff. <laughs> and at that time, uh, one song with mixing and, ma- and mastering was like 2,500 pesos. Mm-hmm. So we had five songs, so that's already 25,000 pesos. Ay, Tama yeah. ba? Hindi. Hindi, <laughs> mali. Kalahati <laughs> lang. <laughs> 12, Sorry. 12,500. 12,250. Kalahati lang. So, it was enough, including the ano pa, production ng CD. So, oh, we had it all. Yeah, we had it all listed down. Hmm. <laughs> I guess there are only so many things you can do as a band and retaining the group dynamic of being in a band yeah mm-hmm. that will earn money aside from playing gigs is yeah. i guess to, to to join a battle of the bands mm-hmm. <laughs> kick everyone's ass but yeah. <laughs> 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 pinaka yeah, yeah. pinaka madaya na alala nyo <laughs> madaya pinaka no, madaya yung pinaka, pinaka madaya natin sumali tayo ng high school Battle of the Bands. Oh. Marami, maraming gano'n. Pero natalo tayo ah. Natalo tayo. By anong band? Uh, one, one Click, click Straight ba? <laughs> one Click Straight. 
Um, hindi pa namin sila kalala nun, so Pero ang dami nilang fans, di ba? Nung, uh, as in, may mga supporters sila in the crowd. And then, mm-hmm. naalala ko, parang may barya votes. Ay, oh, small oh. percentage yun. Nung, may parang <laughs> piece of votes. And sila, totoong high school sila nun. Oo. Oh, oh. Kaya tayo. hindi sila madaya. Tayo madaya. Pero may, mas, may mas madaya. <laughs> ano to? Yung kasama natin na isa pang banda dun. Dun sa high school battle of the bands. Yung banda na puro mga 35 years old na. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Parang masyado na silang out of place. Hmm. Kung tayo na feel natin na out of place tayo. Hmm. We're not that bad. You know. yeah. uh, sila, ba- parang teacher na sila nung mga estudyante. Uh-oh. Tayo, mga Or ates. Tatay. A- tatay. <laughs> tayo, ates at kuyas. Yeah. Sila, tatay tayo, ate, hmm. kuya. Ano nakatawa doon? So, kasi, para tayong, alam mo yung sa basketball, yung dadayo ko sa ibang barangay. <laughs> Tapos, lalaban ka doon. Kasi tayo, parang dumay tayo doon sa school na yun. Wala, wala man lang isang taga doon sa atin. Wala man lang natin. Yung... Wala. Friends. Wala. Diba? <laughs> Parang, ah, may, may battle of the band dyan. Sige, sali kami. <laughs> Dadayo kami dyan sa Antipolo <laughs> para makipagsapalaran. <laughs> Hindi naman tayo tututug dun either way. So, ano, yeah. gig na rin. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yung isa pang naalala ko na magandang battle of the band, yung Wonderland nga. May, oh, that was legitimate. Tayo. Mm. No, but I, ah, well, I think that's the most. I think that's the most legitimate battle. method of the bands we did. Oh. Right, right. Wait lang, wait lang. So Anyone te- can join. Technically, nakapag school tour kayo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. If you, yes. you can put it into that perspective. <laughs> school tour nga. Oh. We can just say school tour. Hitting all but, the marks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But with but with required FB likes. Yeah. Oh, FB likes. Tapos meron. Parang may joining fee pa ata yung iba doon. <laughs> Tapos kailangan oh, yeah. mag-cover for sure. Wait. Um, to be fair, it was because of a battle of the bands that our song June was discovered yes. by many Actually. people. Yes. Remember? Yes, yes, yes. It wasn't was supposed that? to be released, diba? At Kasi all. Kasi sinend lang natin. I think we forgot, we forgot to see the mechanics. We ah, just right. submitted. Required yung submission. So SoundCloud mm-hmm. yun. Um, Tapos biglang, whoa, SoundCloud. Tapos, everything yun just started from there. Yeah. Pero hindi tayo nakatugtog okay na ng mismong Battle of the Bands. Bakit nga? Hindi, hindi tayo nag-qualify? No. Hindi nakaabot si Howard. Galing siyang Elements. Ah. ah. Ang nangyari nun, the guest band was The Ransom Collective. Mm-mm. Tapos tayo, Battle of the Bands. <laughs> Contest. Ang <laughs> ganda. <laughs> 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 Established na sila nun. Oo oh, eh. Tapos... Kasabay ni Howard si Lily dun sa Elements. Oh, oh. Pero si mm-hmm. Ransom Collective, pwede magpamove ng schedule. Pero tayo, tayo hindi. hindi. <laughs> Ang ganda. Ah, parang same day na dapat. Yeah! Yung... As in same gig. Fa- same day. You ah, landed. Oh, oh. Your your flight Ay, oh, oh. was delayed. Yeah. And then we had a gig pa, di ba? After nun. I think, I think I, it went straight. I'm, I don't remember. To... No, 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 <laughs> That was really funny. Yeah. The disadvantages of Leaking. Battle of the Bands. Mm-hmm. Bawal ka mag-inerte. <laughs> Bawal ka well, mag-request. We've we played as a guest band a couple years later. In Battle of the Bands? In Battle of the Bands. Oh, we also had our fair share of judging Battle of the Bands. Yeah. yeah. We can talk about that. Do you, do you guys enjoy judging Battle of the Bands? Uh, it's... Hindi ko alam. It's a long process. <laughs> hmm. Kasi, kasi oh, nat- natry ko mag-judge ng Battle of the Bands two straight years sa same competition. Um, mm-hmm. And then, yung, nung, nung una kong taon, yung mindset ko parang, oh, magaling ba or hindi? Like, parang inisip ko pa yung technical prowess nung bawat musician, etc., etc. Pero at the same time, since mga high school pa lang sila, inis ko parang baka ito pa yung maging cause ng pagka-dishearten nila sa pagtugtog. <laughs> Alam mo yun? So parang the second time around, as in, mataas lang lahat ng scores ko. Bahala na yung ibang judge 
dun sa ano, dun sa pagsuscore nila na meticulous. Ako parang sige, mataas kayo lahat. Basta lang as nasa to na yung mga gitara niyo, mataas kayo. Parang mm-hmm. kasi, kasi nga ayaw ako naman na parang high school pa lang eh, diba? Nangangarap pa lang yung mga bata mag-try ng magbanda. Mm-hmm. So parang kung i-shutdown mo na agad sa simula pa lang, sayang naman. Well, I mean, what's to lose? Diba? Like, it's not as if merong like I don't know, like a million pesos or and like some recording contract at stake or something. Wala eh. Like basically, trophy lang naman na papanalunan nila doon. And, and pride. Uh, and I some, show you um, my Battle of the Bands trophy <laughs> since Damn. I'm here at my family, my family's house. It's a fourth <gasps> place. Oh, ganda. Fourth oh place. <laughs> fourth of the place. Po- fourth place. Fourth place. Fourth place. Fourth place. Yeah, they're Ang pretty considerate to have a fourth place. Yeah. Anong, <laughs> anong classing Battle of the Band siya? Uh, International School, Manila, 2006. Ah, uh, Well, I like that you kept it. It's a real trophy. This is here. I also have my recital, grade three, grade one recital. I mean, I'm, at, I'm in my family's home. Ang May trophy yung recital? Yeah, yeah. Wait, here, I'll show you. Parang ano siya, uh, token of, mm. I guess, certificate Afri- na... Appreciation. Hard, 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 hard. copy. <laughs> hard ganda, copy. May G clip. Oh! I, it is the Best Achiever Award. Nice. In the year 1996, from my piano teacher. Ang ganda. 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 Yung G-Clef mukha siyang flamingo from the back. Okay. Pretty chubby, right? For sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fat teacher. Oo nga mukha siya. Is it the same teacher who tried to upsell you into taking voice lessons? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At least may pa-trophy siya. Merong napupunta, napupunta dyan yung budget. Yeah. I played the, the smash hit. Leron Leron Sinta. Nice. <laughs> With Corey. May videos ba? May videos ba? Dude, I don't, I don't know. It was nasa, 19... Nasa VHS pa. <laughs> Ito digitize pa. V, hindi VHS nun. Ano yan? Betamax. Mini DV. Betamax. Mini DV. Laser disc. <laughs> I don't like, ano, I don't like judging Battle of the Bands. It's fun, but it's so tiring. Mm. It's uh, I uh, yeah. I remember judging a uh, an audition, a Battle of the Bands audition, for Ateneo High School. So that started at nine in the morning and uh, ended at four in the afternoon. Tapos <laughs> lahat jina judge mo, de ba? Yeah. Tapos ang kasama ko si Vinci, of Imelda and Itos, the de Desma. Yeah. So sila yung judges with me and I, the only thing that stood out throughout that I don't know how many hours is that nine hours of sitting there in one classroom listening to all those bands was the drummer of Ben and Ben now oh she was she was I think first year college she, Ben and Ben wasn't the thing yet and I just she was so good she was too good for for the typical battle of the bands in high school drummer. So yeah, yes. apparently she wasn't in high school. She was just friends with the mm. high school kids. And she was the drummer of their band, their all-girl band. Tapos, yeah, she was so good. So I that day, that was the, the only thing that I remembered from the all Nanalo 40 basila. bands. <laughs> Mm, I I don't know. I don't remember anymore. We didn't tally anymore. Mm-hmm. I wasn't able to follow up. Pero she she stuck. So when I saw her with Ben and Ben, I was like, oh, I remember judging your band. Nice. In high school. Yeah, that's my she, ano, judging story. Tito niya si Alden, abaka. Yung dating I think he's still Barbie's job. Alden Barbie. Richards job. Kala ano ni? Barbie's created? Uh, it's Barbie solo stuff. Is that? Mm. Anyway, so... Oh, that's why. Grew up jamming with them and Mm-mm. like Suna Karel and shit. Cool. So, cool. I guess that would make her really good. My in red. 
Eh, di ba ikaw din, Howard? You have a lot of judging experience. Oh, yeah. Mer- Meron yung pinaka nag-stick sa akin was, I judged the Lipa, Battle of the Bands, sa barangay ko. <laughs> Tapos yung venue <laughs> ay, yung tinugtugan natin, yung plaza, ano, at just ba? almost <laughs> in front of my house. That <laughs> was near the church. Yeah. Tapos grabe, 8 p.m. till like 1 or 2. Mm. Parang 10, 12 bands yata. Damn. Tapos, oh my God, ang, ang interesting kasi, para siyang eksena siya eh. Hindi lang siya yung parang high school battle of the bands mm. na mga, mga adults up and coming na. kids. Ngayon mga, parang most of them actually were parang career battle of the bands bands. Oh. Konti sera. Wait. Oh, as in, yeah. parang kan- what's yeah. what's the culture there? Like, as in, they they really practice and form bands for the battle of the bands. Yeah, yeah, you're interesting. Ah, parang ah. parang siyang liga. <laughs> parang ah, uh, kanya re Batangas. Mm. Tapos minsan may mga may from Batangas or like region 4, Parang may mga siguro I would think that they were also they play in bars then. Pero oh, oh. big thing yung battle of the bands. So like may different types, may parang yung may um, parang R&B, tapos okay. meron parang rockers. So may kanya-kanya silang pakulo, parang yung favorite ko na isa, parang may dalawang virtuoso rocker guitars. Mm. Tapos as in bababa sila ng, parang ta- meron silang dancing, bababa sila ng stage ng sabay, mm. tapos parang magta-trade sila ng solo. Tapos parang oh. may gagano, basta ang galing. Ang galing. So performance talaga siya. Yeah. Kalkulado siya wow. lahat. And the yeah. drill. The, the drill, dude. Yeah, the yung may drill. drill. Exactly. With a pick. May dala siyang oh. drill tapos pinang, parang pinang strum niya ng stun. <laughs> <laughs> Pero may so mga unusual din. Um, na, yung nanalo nung Battle of the Bands na yun, yung parang poggy, poggy rock band ng mga mm. naka-leather suits. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, eksena siya. I think they all, parang they all compete with each other in Oo. different Sila hosting. sila rin yung nakikita. Ang ganda. <laughs> Na-scout na rin Wait, nila yun. Piesta ganun. ba yun? Piesta yun sa inyo? Pies, piesta. Yun. Yes. Ah. So parang nga siya yung mga singing contest na, yeah, na, yeah. sa mga piesta. Me, meron bang parang ano? Exactly. Battle of the Bands standard. Kasi diba kanyari sa mga contestera, yung mga singing contest, meron yung mga... Whitney Houston, oh. Celine Dion, <laughs> mga Sarah G. Song. <laughs> Meron, ano, Nosey Balasi. Ah. Oh, interesting. Ah. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Marami sila, maraming space sa kantang yun para mag, ano eh, mag solo showdown. Oh. Maraming. <laughs> <laughs> Tapos, ang awkward kasi, Siyempre, Battle of the Bands. So, parang they're trying to impress the judges. And then, mm-hmm. the, one of the, I happen to be one of the judges. So, yung mga intense, competitive bands, mm-hmm. titinang ka nila. Tapos, mm-hmm. parang, yeah! Wasin ganun. Tapos, parang awkward. <laughs> kasi, tinatry ko mag-grade. Tapos, minsan, uh-huh. eh, tinatry ko pa rin i-grade yung last performance kasi ang hirap. Uh-huh. Anyway. So, talaga siniseryoso mo yung judging. Masyado ko yatang <laughs> detail-oriented. Tapos yung mga kasama kong judge, parang gamay na nila eh. Parang, what? Um, but yeah, entertaining. Entertaining. Pero nakakapagod nga. Like, baby. <laughs> ang, galing, ang, galing nung, ang galing nung analogy ni Papu kanina na basketball liga. <laughs> it's, <laughs> parang liga. it's the same as what you were describing. Mm-hmm. Right? When we went to Antipolo, nag-tour yeah. din tayo. <laughs> <laughs> si Pat, yung pinaka-recent na nag-judge ng Battle Cebu, of the Bands sa Cebu. Remember that, Pat? For Wonder Band? Cebu? Lang may beer. So, beer? I guess, and it was at night, so it wasn't that hot. So I guess it was okay. There was free food. But I don't know. I I enjoyed judging it because I f- I felt temporary power. 
Mas <laughs> pwede dun temporary pa ako. Also, when I gave my folder to like the kid or like some old event staff, she looked at it, and then I I heard her over I overheard her tell her friend that my scores were so low. <laughs> Pero ang high stakes kasi nung K-pop eh, compared to our Battle of the Bands, kasi that was Wonder Band. In so the yeah, they would win like. I think it was 50,000 pesos for that one. Yeah. Damn. And That's the chance to play at Wonderland, which unfortunately got canceled this year. But, yeah. Yun. Wonderland. Yeah. Natalo natin Four of Spades. Oh Grabe naman God. yung natalo. <laughs> <laughs> it's na, 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 Laughing na, now. Who's, Who's laughing, laughing then? Then. then? Who's laughing then? Shout out. No, that was a pretty difficult uh, battle of the bands for us because of the liking part. Sharing. That time. Sharing pala, not liking. That's that's harder. Mm-mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I remember we ended up at like 10th place out of 10 in the yeah. sharing thing. Ang hirap. And every year, there comes a time sa, alam mo yung Facebook memories. Mm. <laughs> Ay, oo, oh, na, tapos lahat po yun. Facebook memories na parang boom. Like, I don't know how many times I shared it. Ang dami. Pero grabe, grabe. We shared it almost, I shared it almost at least 150 mm. times a day Mm-mm. for a whole month. Grabe. And still, we ended up last place. Yeah. <laughs> I don't Kasi, know. Wala eh. Ang hi- hirap, ang hirap nun. Ako, ayaw ako siyang ginagawa. It's uh, yung sobrang hate ko yung mga palike, palike or pa-share, pa-share contest. Kasi parang ano bang point nito? Diba? Obviously, yeah. gusto, gusto niya lang ma-pro- gusto niya ma-promote yung event niyo. Mm-mm-mm. Sabihin niya na lang. Huwag niyo kaming lokohin na pag <laughs> pinaka maraming share. Pag maraming kang share, mananalo ka. Bakit? Bakit ako mananalo? Dahil lang maraming share. Di ba parang, or dahil maraming like. Anong implication nun? Hindi naman to sharing contest. Di ba parang, gets ko kung yun yung contest. O oh, sige, para may ng share. Sige, game. Pero kung ang, ang contest ay, I don't know, like, kunyari, battle of the bands, or like, Ano pa bang mga kinakontest? Cooking but contest? Beauty pageant. Beauty pageant. Who would join a paramihan ng sharing contest? Diba? <laughs> diba? Wala. Walang tatali nun. <laughs> Pero ang, ang, ang galing nung iba. As in, may, may, for some reason, they hmm. had... Mga six um, digits shares out. Yeah! Yung and I don't know how they did it. It, yeah. Russian, it still Russian bothers Russian me cats. until now. Yeah, I think it's the same troll army as the 16 million who voted for. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you know anyway we, we, that was fortunate for us. We were still part. I think we were a wild card Mm-mm. selection of some sort. Because we have 10% judges' choice. Yeah. So I guess the judges' choice power... Nasal ended up tayo. with us yeah but the rest yeah. of the guys in the in the top five that competed were all part of the top of mm. the likes that's true yeah tingin nyo ba sulit yung sulit yun I mean you shares no definitely <laughs> not <laughs> spam you <laughs> ang dami or sulit ba yung title yung as Wonder Band 2015. I think 15, 14, 15, 14, it, it 16, helps 16. legitimize us in mm-hmm. names of certain. I think it's still un, it's still tied to O Flamingo until now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we never outgrew 
Wonder Band, whatever And a lot year. of people follow Wonder, Wonder Band. So, may mga parang friends din ako na doon tayo nakilala. Mm. So, Actually, it's a... Apparently, that and UP Fair are like your... Wonder Band UP Fair. Sort of card to like legitimacy in terms of gigs. Yeah. The big stage. Uh, get, get. Yeah. I, like, when I meet... Sell, oh, ito, weird to ha. Uh, parang buhat bang ko. But when I buy from FB Marketplace and then for some reason they recognize me, they, I, I just say, oh, thank you for recognizing us. And then... And then she said that they would say like, oh, we, I found you in Wonderland or oh, I found mm. you in UP Fair. Parang yeah. it's always those two events yes. that um, get the people to remember mm. us, I guess. So sulit siya in the long run. I mean, sulit. Hindi, I, I'd say hindi sulit yung prize. Oh yeah, we had the smallest one <laughs> compared to everyone. <laughs> it's okay. Bad. Yeah, and opportunities to play because um, uh, we were a- we were invited to multiple uh, Carpus events yeah. thereafter. Yeah. We got to open for we're international. cigarettes after sex, right? Yeah. Yes, that also Because of the affiliation. Yeah, so um, monetarily, maybe not. <laughs> mm. <laughs> because... Uh, it mas malaki pa yung kinita natin sa ibang battle of the bands as income generation uh-uh, projects uh-uh. <laughs> but i think student. yeah but in terms of accolades and and legitimizing good platform it's a good platform and yeah i'm i'm grateful that happened and we got to watch death cab for cutie and yeah. bon iver yeah. and bon iver and all these bands so, i'd say one anyway. of the best on their land lineups. Swerte din. Except yung kuya, <laughs> except yung kuya guard sa backstage na nung nag-request ako ng picture with Justin Vernon, tinapat lang niya yung mm. phone tas hindi niya talaga sinut. Ang weird, no? Dun, oh. dun ko first time ever ma-experience ma-discriminate <laughs> sa sarili oh. kong bayan. Sa sarili Totoo. kong bayan. As in, parang talaga, like, bawal, iba yung pagkain ko sa pagkain nila. Yung kaka- no. bawal kami makihalubilo sa kanila. Bakit? What's I... Meron ba well, akong gagawin? Well, tech rider daw. Tech rider daw. Yeah, easy nila. to say. Pero obviously <laughs> naman. ba diba? Nung nakausap natin sila, parang, oh, like chill nung pinipigilan sila. nung guard parang de chill lang like dude okay lang magkausap yung artists kami. themselves okay <laughs> lang talaga nakatawa ironic lang it's I, I think it's a pure coincidence but our wristbands were brown and their wristbands were white yeah I'm not kidding I'm but not kidding I about that it's why. not a coincidence it's Definitely subconscious not. it's subliminal <laughs> it's a subliminal it so message Sabi nga kasi, di ba, ng government natin, di ba, yung white, nakaka-relax daw yun. At nakaka-uplift ng spirit. Sa yung white sand beach. Mm. Sa yung brown. Dolomites. Brown, dyan ka lang sa labas. Chocolate. <laughs> yung, yung brown, yun yung dating white na band. But because you've been out in the dirt, at Wonderland the whole day, mm. naging brown siya. Di pag naging brown ka na. <laughs> <laughs> Skipped the tent. Uh, oh. brown. Because you're not allowed inside the tent. Pero <laughs> paano nga yung ganun, no? Paano, I, I don't, I don't really, no, I, I don't have much experience. Di ba, Pat, you were able to go backstage sa, is that Laneway? Uh, ah, what, yeah. What, in Plus Singapore? Laneway. Kas- kasama ko yung Ransom Collective at Laneway. Ah, you, nandun you lang cut. si Billy Eilish. Yeah, that one. Nice. Kamusta yun? Uh, pero hindi pa siya s- like, not like what she is today. But mm. she had fans. She performed after Ransom. And then, oh. siguro there's like, as in ganun yung slot niya, like 4pm. Maaga pa. Mm. Yeah, then, um, there she had like, Maybe like 200, 150, 200 devoted people to Get. her, something like that. And 
I don't know. She she was just there. Like, magkatabi yung dressing room nila. Tapos si Mu, nagpa-picture kay Billy Eilish, pero hindi oh, niya kilala oh, kung sino siya. Ang ganda. Nag-invest uh, siya dun sa photo. photo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, I see Apple. potential in this Billy Eilish person. Yun niya. Kasama lang may, niya yung mom niya. Hmm. What else? Nandun lang si, like, Mac DeMarco, Anderson Pack, The Internet. Nice. And everyone was sharing one. Yeah. Uh, so you're you're just allowed to tent. interact with everybody. Yeah, technically, uh, you can. Pero there's also that feeling of like, okay, respect also personal space. Yeah, yeah. definitely. And may ibang tao, maraming nagpapa picture kay Mac DeMarco. Pero mm. Okay lang, kasi lasing lang naman siya. So game <laughs> yeah. lang siya. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, hindi nila tech rider. Hindi siya tech yeah. rider. Hindi siya tech rider. It's deeper than that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay It's lang. cultural. Mm. Uh, yeah, it was chill. I think uh, I used the portal at and Billie Eilish was outside. Yeah. <laughs> small things. Those small things. What a... Such a small world... You shared a toilet. Yeah, yeah. Billie Eilish Billie pees. Eilish. She pees. She smells. She your... peed after you peed. She mm. peed after I peed. Our our piss. Dude, we were we were we we were one at at one oh. time. Good our time. our peas crossed. Yeah, sayang kwet nyo umupo sa same. Yeah. Yuck. <laughs> Yuck. But I don't sit. I don't sit on the seat. Oh, okay. I, I am a squatter. <laughs> I will. I will let the legs burn, dude. Yeah. I'm same. not sitting on that thing. Yes. Same. 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 <laughs> so it it wasn't that it wasn't the tech Intimate. writer. It wasn't the tech writer. Mm. Okay. Yeah, anyway, okay. I, okay. we have to that's move that's on. That's Wait, that's as a as a judge, that. then pala as a judge, uh, judger of bands. Judger. What do you look for in a in a battle of the band band? Uh, oh, that's champion? a good question. That's a good question. Mm. Uh first of all, tuned guitars. I think that's my my. That's the only thing I need to pick actually. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Hmm, what else? Ako ayoko ng outdated music. Ah, as in uh, song selection, as in, ganun. Oo. I, I, like, wala akong pake kung like, sila yung most technically skilled or whatever. Mm. But if you play fucking like Snow Patrol, it's a no <laughs> for me. Like, or like, I don't know. Like, basta. You know what I mean? Snow. Get, get. Ang ganda ng Snow Patrol. It's just like the last thing Patrol. naman na naisip kong example. <laughs> I was thinking like no. Beatles or... or <laughs> No, like, I mean, <laughs> Beatles kasi, kasi classic, classic na yun eh. Oh. So... <laughs> Iba yung dated. Outdated. Or, or like if... Back. Or like Five for Fighting. Or... Uh, Stephen Goo Dolls. <laughs> yeah. The Goo Goo Dolls. Mm. Yeah, but then I I have a soft spot for like let's say if someone played like uh like Razorback mm. or like something like that. I mean that's different yeah. also. But like I guess those like in betweens like ugh, why mm. like I don't know Pearl Jam. Pearl Jam. Well, Pearl Jam. Ang laking bagay sa akin nung dating um in the sense na parang Okay, matatalo ka kapag wala sa tono yung gitara mo. Or like, pag sintonado yung kumakanta, or wala sa tempo yung pumapalo. Pero pag papaglabanin mo lahat ng mga okay yung yun lahat, parang ang pinaka-umaangat sa akin, yung parang, alam mo yung nagpo-perform talaga. Yung, yung hmm. pag pinanood mo, mag enjoy ka. Hindi yung parang, meron kasi diba like, Super Shredder pero parang gets mo, hindi, hindi, hindi niya mukhang gusto yung ginagawa ah, niya yun, hindi yun siya masaya may, panoorin may mood, may oh, mood lang siya parang dun lang siya parang oh, sige gets magaling ka salamat pero sana Tapos, pinakinggan ko na lang with earphones cargo cargo shorts and <laughs> ano <laughs> cargo shorts cargo, typical Shredder look mm-hmm. 
Cargo shorts and a ponytail. Black shirt. Black shirt. So yun, cha- Black cha- polo. <laughs> since band, alam mo yun, yung overall, yun, nasa dating eh, yung parang jiveness ng, ng band. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's important. I see. For me, basta mukha sila nag-i-enjoy. Mm, same with Or mukha silang pa- passionate about what they do. Passionate. Uh, mas yun. You know, actually, a lot of a lot of our friends now still remember me as the battle of the bands person in high school. Oh nga. Like the so, or organizer or like the party? Like, oh no, you mean like your friends, your friends from high school? No, as in my friends in the music scene. <laughs> oh. Like Senya. She's only 16, guys. Yeah. Yeah. So the Ateneo crowd. Basically, like, yung mga high school nung high school ka. Yeah, oh, yung mga mm. kabatch ko nung high school from different schools remember me. Uh-oh. Because I was the battle of the bands person. Uh, Sa AC. Kine- yeah, and AC. Uh, Kinarear ko yun. Uh, second year up to fourth year. That's all I did. Pa, ano I, yung doing? Ano yung tasks to do when organizing um, the battle Basically, of the bands? announcing that there's an... Um, an audition. Mm. So for the audition, I have to book the sound system. I have mm. to book the room. I have to organize the schedule of each band yeah. from morning till afternoon and coordinate the ushers. So I would assign like a girl from the school that would handle this many bands per block yeah, it's of time. And then I had to organize their waiting area and mm. invite judges. So it was a lot of work actually oh for a for a child. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I always feel sorry for those those high schoolers who like are like all sweaty and then yeah. it's me. just like it's like they're like, oh my god, I'm so sorry, like you don't have water. <laughs> Like that. As mm. if they're like our slaves or something. Oh. <laughs> but actually, they work so hard. They put so much um, passion into those events that they make. Mm. And in Assumption, there was a lot of paperwork to make it happen. Especially because we're making boys enter the school, strangers. Mm. So they had to have one mm. game pass each. Yeah. My dress code. The and the dress code that yeah. they have to sign also. Na they have to agree that we have a dress code. Tapos, I have to make um, charts of like uh, how much money we spent, find sponsors. It was a lot well, of work. It's and kind of like laid the groundwork for all the things you do today. Well, that's that's actually pretty true. Because that's my, still the stuff you do today. Yeah, <laughs> you organ- project manager. Or, organize <laughs> shit. But my, my, my friends only remember that they didn't make it to the finals. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know all of that. <laughs> but yeah, that's the yung gripe ng maraming tao. I, we, we prefer the South people over the North people. I don't know. I, Pero I'm just, yun nga ba? Oh, nataon lang. Um, they, the, I don't know. The, the South people... Sounded more practiced, I guess. Maybe they go to church. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> God Baka gives yun. more time. Ano ba yung, ano yung schools from the South? Aside from South La Salle. Ridge. Ah, South Ridge. South Ridge. South Ridge. Azobel. And also, they had more expensive gear. Well, <laughs> I, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> So expensive. Yeah. As in, they had large pedal boards and they had really, really expensive guitars. Mm. But they sounded like they play at church. Good. So, are you, are you good. talking about Ling Lava? <laughs> Maybe they're one of the people. I, like a, like a I don't know. I don't remember. Because he's from Southridge. And Most likely. He is a really good guitarist, and maybe he's he was one of those people with the pedal, big pedal boards. And I know that he was in a band uh, in Southridge called Mango Float. Oh, yeah, they won so many times in our schools. Ah. They joined every year. Yung, yung Battle of the Bands na na judge ko twice, like two years in a row, I. Ano, rockustic. 
yeah. rustic event. Ano siya? Sa Pampanga. Parang... So you uh, went all the way to Pampanga? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As in, ang nagpapatak, nag-organize na yung Pampanga Org sa UP. And then, <laughs> ang mga contestants ay yung mga high school. So it's like a week-long event. And then, merong parang... Uh, ano to? Uh, bukod sa Battle of the Bands, merong art contest. Uh, ano ba yung mga usual... Uh, ano ba to? Parang fashion show... Pati Ayan, yung mga tagisan ng, ng talino, ganun. Per, tagisan ng ano talino. Tawag doon? Basta yun, quiz B, quiz B. Pero sobrang distinct nung rules dun sa rahustic event. Kasi nakasulat explicitly na bawal ang kahit anong electronically amplified instrument. As in, ganun nila Paano winner. Paano yung mic? Pero lalabas sa uh, PA. <laughs> lalabas sa PA. As in, mall show siya. Nasa ano kami? Marquee Mall. Paano yung mic? Marquee so, Mall. Sa Marquee Mall, sa gitna nun. Pero may mic si mga tao. Pero bawal yun. Tapos isip ko parang, wait lang, David sabi niya, drums, pwede. But no, nakasulat dun sa rules, bawal ang drums. <laughs> Anything acoustic except drums. Drums. Bawal ang drums. And, so, anong pwede? Kahon. <laughs> Pwede. Kahon. Kahon. Siyempre, guitars. <laughs> na nakasaksak din, din, by the way. Oh. Na nakasaksak din, by the way. Tapos, <laughs> liar. May nag-liar. Ano pa ba yung mga nakita? Liar. Basta, ang, ang, ang winish ko nun, parang yuk. sana naman, sana merong mag-horn section dito. Pero, I guess, hindi mo, pa, bihira ka naman makamit ng uso. batang marunong mag-horn siya, di ba? Usually, matatanda na sila pag na-meet mo. So, so, so yun, wala. For two, two years in a row, acoustic guitar na nakasaksak, by the At way. At kahon. At kahon. <laughs> you know, we have to talk about that. The, the, the kahon. The existence the kahon. of kahon in the The power of culture. the kahon in the Philippine music landscape. <laughs> <laughs> And at home. And at in the home. homes of your titos who like music. And say, punta kayo dito, jamming, jamming kayo. Tapos may kahon. Tapos Parang yun. nauso siya sa Pilipinas at least nung rakus, acoustic. Rakustic era. <laughs> acoustic <laughs> era. <laughs> MYMP, Paolo Santos, Jimmy Bondok, Nyoy Volante, Dace, di ba? Nina dun, Life. Doon ako unang nagkaroon ng consciousness ng kung ano yung kahon. And iisip ko, cool, cool. Cool siya nun. Tunog Kasi snare. Siya... Oo. Oh. Pero hindi ako drummer. So, hindi ko siya concerned. <laughs> Pero may, may iba nga, meron pa silang like splash and crash. Dito, no? <laughs> Tapos <Just, laughs> nakatape yung mga daliri nila. Pati yung chimes dito. Uh, especially for you. To... <laughs> yung personal experience ko with kahon, parang grade school, may pinsan ako na mahilig mag gitara ng e-heads. Bumi siyang kahon. Mm. Tapos parang yun yung pinakauna kong direct experience with as in like how drums feel. Mm. Kasi ah. parang syempre lahat naman tayo pumupok, pok, pok, pok. Pero kapag <laughs> may kahon siya, damn! Tama eh. Ang tama nung... Si Pan. Ang tama nung... Si Pan. Disagree so much. Di ba? Oh, Hindi. Na. Kasi syempre pag bata ka parang yeah! Tatap ka lang sa table. <laughs> Tapos... Biglang next level. May kahon. Tapos ang taba nung... As in, tunog kick siya. Pero tunog snare. Tapos parang, wow. Oh, wow. Ganun pala yung feeling. So, um, Sobrang cool nga ng kahon dati. <laughs> yeah. Pero dun ko nga una... Dun, una, dun ko unang nag-gets kung ano yung concept like nung downbeat, upbeat. Kasi nga, parang... Yun lang siya. Essentially, meron ka lang dalawa eh. Kick, kick. at snare, di ba? Kick, snare. Quote, unquote. Kick, at snare. Tapos parang, ah, ito pala yun. Ito pala yun. <laughs> But let's ask our drummer. I mean, oh, we're nice. uh, uh, okay. to say I mean, something. we find <laughs> it uh, pretty cool, but like, how do you feel about it, Pat? <laughs> the pok 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 pok. Uh, Kohans. Um. <laughs> I, I have like no emotional attachment to Kohans. <laughs> Um, hot takes, hot takes. Okay, my thing with the cajon is the way it's built. Oh, it's okay. like 
it's a fucking box. I get it, right? Okay, like, what are you gonna do with this box with, like, three guitar wires inside? We're like, oh, we're gonna cut a uh-huh. hole in it. And yeah, then, um, it's like, what are we gonna do now? Oh, shit, we made the box. How do we play it? It's like, oh, I guess we have to sit on it. And then it's like, <laughs> it's just like, there's no, like, I feel like there's not much, like, logistics or like pre-prod uh, like or something put into this this thing it's just like oh yeah it makes a sound <laughs> go like yeah, yeah it makes a yeah, sound shit on it <laughs> I'd, like, I'd have to agree parang yung kahon nga yung least logistically sound percussion <laughs> instrument bubuatin mo siya ng ganun bubuatin mo siya ng ganun uupo ka bubo ka 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 yeah. Also, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's it's super not cool. I mean, especially uh, for guys, siguro if you're like long and you have a long torso, yeah. it's okay. But for girls, it's super weird. So like, also like, oh my god, I had, to, I had to do that. I had to do play the cajon. I think when I was in high school, or some like rakustic shit. Mama. It's it's like. It's just really like awkward. <laughs> ka. Yeah. In school and, uniform. School yeah, or whatever. Even at and the then, booth. And then you're all like hunched over Mm-mm. like for minutes at a time. I don't know. And then it just it's just not flattering, I think. <laughs> and like Hindi <laughs> siya the visually. Yeah, yeah. It, it 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 looks like you're like just huffing away at this, <laughs> this thing and it's just it's it's like slapping the shit out of this thing. <laughs> just the box. And, yeah, yeah, you're like freaking like caveman mode dude. Like, <laughs> like that dude like <laughs> like you know, like the monkeys, like when or like the apes when they run like that. Parang ganon eh. You might as well just wear like a gorilla suit and go hard on that thing. I don't know, man. But like they, I've seen some cajons that um are like stand up and like you can put it on your lap yeah, or like yeah, something, yeah. and then it's ah, like in you. front of your lap body, cajon. so you play it like. Like this, like a jambe, which mm. you know makes a lot more sense, and like you know, it's better for everyone's it's easier uh, spine to health. Mm. And <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm okay, so spine. I mean, maybe I have to do some more research into the cajon because I'm sure, like maybe in like uh, Latin called America, or, apparently, like, yeah, uh, or South Latin. America or other know, Carib- yeah. Caribbean countries. I guess they, it's they. I don't know. But in the Philippines, kasi parang, it, para siyang kabote. Like, it just came out of nowhere. It's like, yeah. oh, yeah, but everyone, I play the fucking cajon, man. It's like, everyone plays the cajon. It's like, how, how did you learn? It's like, I don't know, just whack the thing. And... <laughs> yeah. for, for sure, for sure, somewhere out there, meron ngang cultural significance. Yung, I mean, may reason kung bakit siya box. It's accessible. It might be like, I don't know, may rich history from like, yeah, yeah. It's a farm. Ito yung I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. In this context, in the Philippine I've, context, I feel so. like it's the it's like the ukulele of percussion or something. It's just I don't know. Like everyone yeah. has one. Hot take number it's two. Not necessarily a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not a bad it's thing. Accessible. It's accessible. Oh, I guess there's that ganyang feeling sa you. Sa ukulele. Sige, anong meron? Anong hot take ni Papi? Wala, wala. Hot take! Hindi ko lang siya maseryoso as an instrument. Although, alam ko na maraming magaling. Mahirap siya. Mahirap, mahirap gumaling. Siya. Mahirap, mahirap. 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 Yung actual gumaling. ukulele yung shredder, techniques. So Japanese hard. Shredder. Meron, you have to, meron technique na you have to use all four of your fingers individually. Mm. Like that. Like, brum, yeah. Brum, yeah. Brum, yeah. Brum. yeah. It's really hard. It's yeah. really hard. Pero yung you know, pa- yeah. pag ipapang play mo lang siya ng Somewhere Over the Rainbow, parang... Ah. I'm away, or like, I'm, I'm yours. Oh. I guess it's like, it's one of those, like the kahon or like the uke, or like one of those instruments where it's like the line between good and bad is very strong. Yeah. Like, it's just like, you can't just be okay at it. It's like yeah. you suck or like you're really good. 
Mm. Parang wala siyang gitna or walang middle ground. I don't know. That's just how I feel. Oo nga no. Pero parang mm. ano sila eh. That makes Cultural sense. markers. Like yung kahon nung MYMP acoustic covers the era, yung kahon, yung worsh worsh singing um Ano ba ang tawag doon? Har-har. 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 Singing. Um, solo. YouTube. Era. Parang ganun. Oh, 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 another thing I hated about playing the kohon, I just, I just remembered, is that when... <laughs> there's only two sounds, right? So, kick and snare. And then, when you have to do... Like, kunyari, end na ng song. Hmm. <laughs> It's just like boom, and then that's it. <laughs> like, oh, like it's like, what are you gonna do? Like you'll hit the snare, like no, like it's just like, and then it's just like that, and then it ends, and then there's no like, shh. like the guitar will be like ends. ring, and then you're just like, oh yeah, yung ano yung gaginya ni mo yung snare part. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, but then, what what I what's cool is people who play the cajon with brushes. I think mm. yeah, that's, that's nice. That sounded really cool. I think. Me technique. I think it's the same with the uke. I think that's what's off-putting about the uke sometimes. I think it's the context because the uke, ang history niya, was it was built so that you can play loudly at the beach. So it can yeah. fight off the, the sound of the device. waves. Oh, of the waves. So you can still be heard even at the beach. Mm. Yun. Pero yes. now it's being played softly. Ganyan, yun yung appropriation niya in the har heart mm. culture. Which yung is okay in itself. Yung narealize namin ni parang mm-hmm. si Zoe Deschanel yata yung isa sa mga main parang nag-promoters, nag-expose ng you. Kasi di ba merong parang YouTube Wait, video Ito ba yung kasama niya si Joseph Gordon-Levitt? Oo, the 500 Days of Summer ba? People. Pati and yung si Mar- Marty Schwartz. I know. Yeah. Uh-huh. Actually, yun yung first song na natutunan ko sa Yuk. Kasi oh, this, ito yung time na... We, we own you. Nauso, nauso sa, tam- sa tambayan natin nun. And then, yun. It, it was still better than, I don't know, like, yun nga, nung sum, kasi Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Masaya ako na yun yung natutunan ko na kanta. And, and yung, words. diba, anong, ang vid, anong movie nga yun galing? Pero yung context nun, nasa beach din sila, dates. diba? It was a Steve uh, Martin. Yeah, yeah, first Steve dates, Martin. Uh-huh. Can't remember. You know the thing, you know what's funny, guys? Because uh, the yukes that we have here mostly, so, the the my Joa Enzo bought an actual yuk from Hawaii, as in straight nice. from the source, right? But then when I researched the history of the ukulele, mm. the build, ganyan, apparently it's just made here in the Philippines. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> so, apparently most Hawaiian ukuleles, uh, like the entry-level ones, mm. are partially built in the Philippines and I'm completed... Ganda. In Hawaii. Yeah. So, <laughs> umuwi lang siya. Oh. Actually, even the merch in Hawaii, yung mga hula skirts oh. or like yung mga coconut bras, they're all made in the Philippines. What? The so, it was really UK. funny when he brought home all those uh, pasalubongs, right? Nakita sa paging made in the Philippines. Eh? Yeah. Thanks, ha? Salamat sa pasalubong mo. <laughs> Balikbayan pala yung ano eh. Oh. No, yeah, I guess yun 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 kahon and ukulele out of context might be weird or it's because they're creating their own new culture within that instrument around that instrument. I guess, yeah. I guess it's, it's, uh-huh. it's a strong force in that way and are there other when, instruments like that yuk and kahon apart from the two? <clears throat> Na sa Pilipinas specifically. Mm, sa Pilipinas specifically that created well, the scene on its own. Hindi siya scene, pero lahat ng bata dati nag-aral mag-recorder. Pero Ay, wala oh, akong nakita. Wala akong na-meet ever na recorder, recording Someone artist. Oy, may na-meet ako nung high school. Yun talaga yung instrument ang niya. Ang ganda. Ang ganda. Never pa ako nakaka-meet. <laughs> like, wala pa ako nakitang gig na merong naka-recorder. You should, ano, 
You should Maganda go to this. Yeah. yeah. May girl sa YouTube that compared like the cheap ass plastic recorder okay. versus her 100,000 peso recorder. It sounds so good. Apparently, yes. there's a proper way to play it. Okay. Yeah. Right? So, it's a great it's, instrument. But isa pa yun. Re- bakit tayo required mag-recorder? Ewan ko ba. So you can understand how the do-re-mi-fa-so-la-ti work. Hey, but sure. hey, it's really hard, ha? As in, may, may breath control yeah. siya na hindi tinuturo ng mga teacher. Mm-hmm. Yun mm-hmm. nga. Parang mm-hmm. gagawin lang siya mm-hmm. ng mga bata for compliance. They, they usually end up hating it. Mm-hmm. And I guess yun din yung reason kung ba't walang recorder recording artist. <laughs> Kasi parang Totoo. sobrang resentment. Required. Grabe yung yeah. resentment nila dun sa instrument. Parang, ah. Yung pumipito siya, yung nag-high pitch siya. Oh, pag nasobran sa ihip. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Never ako nag-recorder ng grade school. Kaya nung Hindi tumanda na ako, mm. bamboo flute. ako ng mga, mga, mga wooden, mga bamboo, bamboo flute. flute. And then bibili sa, ano, sa intramuros. Pag field trip oh, namin, ganun mga... eh. Bibili ng bamboo flute. <laughs> Tapos ma- gagamitin niya for a few days tapos maupuan ng kaklase tapos wala na. Yeah, yeah. Wasak, wasak na. <laughs> ano ba? May mga ano ba instruments na? You... Melodica. Melodica. Pero hindi siya uso-uso eh. Mm. Like the Mahal, piano with the blow siya... hole. Is it easy to purchase? Is it easy to buy? Is it accessible? There are sa lyric meron parang mga 800 meron, pesos. Meron, meron. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yung music class sa school ko, yung mga bata, hindi na recorder. Ganun naman, melodica na. I think dahil mas nak- nakalatag yung keys. So, mas nakikita nila in yeah. relation to like the notes and stuff kesa yung sa recorder. Piano basics. Mm-hmm. Ano pa? Bandurya. Parang uso sa, sa ibang... Hindi ako nagbandurya. Merong banduria ensemble lagi, di ba? Somewhere. Parang, although sa school namin, wala nun. Pero si, pa, it, si Enzo, baka hindi siya Manila. Rondalia thing. Club. Ayun, Rondalia Ay, Club. Saya. Nice. Mm. Member siya ng Rondalia Did Club. Did he own Tapos tinanong one? ko siya, so ano yung ginagawa nyo? Tingin na yung Every week, mag-meet sila once a week to go, tingin Ay, orange and lemons though. <laughs> Nagamit ni Clem yung kanyang banduria. banduria. Ganda. Mm. Lessons. Sa amin, uh, recorder lang talaga eh. Actually, ang week ng music classes sa amin before. So, it wasn't it wasn't enriching. Kayo? I think yung ganyan ngayon, these days, wala. Uh, MIDI, in- MIDI controller. <laughs> mm, oo, oo nga. Everyone has one. It's Everyone an easy way to now. get into yes. music. And at the That's same cool, time, ang dami mo nang pwedeng magawa. That's good. That's true. That's true. People are uh, introduced to synthesis mm. <laughs> sampling. Yeah, DAWs now are very accessible compared to before. Everyone can record at home. Mm-mm. Yeah. Oo nga, no? Mga MIDI... Yung mga 25 key midi piano with like 8 knobs and 8 yeah. pads. Tapos, yeah. Feeling ko yeah. rin yung mga bata ngayon, yun na yung hihingin. Hinihingi. Mm. Na, People wanna be producers na. Oo. Uh, first <laughs> instrument. Parang, I want a launch pad. <laughs> Not knowing na ang hirap. Like, kasi na, mm. nauso dati sa internet. Yung, yung parang nag, may mga performance na ang daming ilaw gamit yung launch pad. It's parang, mm. wow, ang ganda. But it's a lot of work. As in, you have to program everything. And sometimes I every feel... Every single button? Every single button. Lahat ng lights doon. Aside from the playing, ay ipoprogram mo pa. So parang... Pero and, the and, functions din, di ba? Parang you want to divide the four... Kanyari, you want to divide four boxes na nagluloop. Pwede rin yun, di ba? Pwede rin, pwede rin. Pwede siyang sequencer. <clears throat> mga, basta marami, marami yung pwede gawin. Basically, kung, kung anong kaya ang i-imagine mo... Yeah. Kung kaya nung kaya ng imagination mo, pwede naman siya sa main the instruments. I guess yun yung cool thing about it. Kasi parang everybody finds a way, like a unique way on how to use it. Kumbaga. Like, kasi di ba, gets, sa, sa kahon, again, kick at snare lang siya. The limits. At sa, sa yuk, four strings and a couple of frets. Pero dun sa MIDI controller ngayon, parang basically. Damn. Kabala, eh. Anything, whatever your imagination Mm-mm. comes up with. But you know, the path you've been exploring recently, mga mm. ano, sequencers. Yes, yeah, pero 
yun, sim- uh, just simple stuff for now. I also choose kind of the simpler, um, more user-friendly mm-hmm. gadgets. I have it here beside me somewhere. I just yeah. bought this <clears throat> OPZ. Ang liit. It's it looks a, like such a fun a, thing to play oh, with. Shut up. And I'm still learning it. But it's really nice because I guess I will revisit ko din yung like it's not a keyboard. I mean, hindi siya piano eh. Yeah. Parang, it's yeah. a sequencer it, talaga. Yeah. yeah. So <clears throat> I guess that works for me because um, I don't need I can just like play the notes and like more of it will force me more to think of like nice melodies and stuff mm. rather than being mm. like oh like my my finger position is uh-uh. in the right Mm-mm. place and stuff so i yeah i think this is something that works mm-hmm. for me rather than getting a mm. lo- um, midi keyboard cuz then yeah i'd be so focused on the piano aspect of it gets mm-hmm. gets gets oh nga no <clears throat> rhythm box na rin siya eh so. oh. yeah lahat it does that job at ganun lang kali. Ang galing. Yeah. yeah. Pero, I wish that the instruments that we talked about, no, uh, rondalia, kahon, ukulele, kahon, kahon. <laughs> recorder, I wish parents would uh, nudge their children in the di- towards the direction of not so popular instruments. They are nice At childhood. Hmm. Kasi, the typical Asian instruments are... Um, Piano, violin, violin. violin. Guitar, violin. But there are like so many things other than the violin, like the viola and cello and cello, upright bass, right? Saxophone, <laughs> saxophone. Guro kasi yeah. ano classical instrument. So for kids, meron siyang goals, right. like mm. arang, arang hierarchy type goals, I guess. So <laughs> baka okay yun for kids. I don't know. Yeah. Right. Dahil nakakatalino daw, di ba, pag nakikinig ka sa classical music. Classical music. music. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, fun. anyway, so like, usually what our parents, um, what our parents dictate to us at childhood typically is what stays with us when you grow older, na instrument. So I guess a, a last question for everybody would be, <clears throat> if you were... To play, if, if you have the choice since childhood, if you were to play, only able to play one instrument for the rest of your life, what would it be? The uke or the kahon? <laughs> uke, kahon, recorder. Or recorder. or recorder. Which one would it be, guys? You already uh, have the choice. I'm yep. Why? Why? <laughs> Mm. Kasi, ewan ko, ma- mas ma-explore ko siya, I think. It I has mean, tones. Yeah. I the mean, rith- rith- rhythmic siya and melodic. And then, pwede mo ding siyang i-hook up to, like, electronic shit, like effects and stuff. So, maybe you could get really creative with it. And then, if you want Benny it Bunny to band. be, like, a one-man band, technically, you could still use it as a cajon. Hmm. I, I mean, you just oh, have to oh. whack that thing, and it will make a <laughs> kahon like sound. So... Yes. Oh, oh, kahon. I think the uke for kahon you. yung pipiliin ko. Why? Right. Dahil masaya, ma- masaya siya, masaya, masaya yung yung bokaka feeling, bokaka on a box. <laughs> As, as a playing style. <laughs> Saka pwede uh, siyang upuan. Mm-hmm. Ayaw Laki- nga when you're waiting. Pwede mm-hmm. siyang upuan. Kinalakihan ko rin kasi siya. So parang, lumaki ako in my mind na ang cool niya. <laughs> Dahil sa acoustic wave. Rakustic. Rakustic I'd, wave. I'd pick a recorder. I think it needs more representation. <clears throat> I think there are so many on... Uh, 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 Under so unknown, underappreciated techniques that the the kids can learn from the recorder, yeah. Like like breath control, power. Yes, rock on, recordists. I agree. 
with baby. Recorder din ako. Since parang naumay, na, hindi man umay, parang lagi lang strings, instruments gamit ko. Parang iba yung feeling pag nagpa-play ka ng wind. Tapos ang galing kasi one note lang siya lagi. So medyo nadidiscipline ka to kind of decide what notes you want to play. Limited. Saka ganda ng tunog. Ganda ng tunog niya. Saka if you think about it, woodwind instruments mimic the human vo- vo- voice. Yeah. The first ever instrument was a flute from a bone of an animal. <laughs> anyway. Dami, dami. Pero yan, masaya lang siya. Ano yung sound? Na may butas. Ooh. 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 Great. From Battle of the Bands to Instruments. Parkour. <laughs> that was fun. Flute. That was a fun Flute episode of Bird Casting. Yay. Bird Casting. Comment below. Comment below. What, what instrument you would instrument want to play for the rest of your life. You would want to play for the rest of your life. Life. For reactions on our hot takes on mm. the cajon, ukulele, recorder. Nag-expect ako ng violent reactions. Wala sa mga nasabi natin. Ang dami natin sinabing medyo reactionable. Hindi naman natin hinate. Yung, hindi naman tayo nag-hate. Yung underband? Yung har-har? Yung battle of the bands, <laughs> yung har-har. cajon, har-har. Ukulele. It's just there. Lahat yeah. hinate natin kasi Pahit, ano yung pahit? Pa-genius. Pa-genius. Pa-genius kasi tayo. Maybe we should give a shout-out to that guy. What's his name? Our shout-out kay Kuya, ano, Kuya Pa-genius. Number one hater natin. Number one hater natin. Shout-out, shout-out. Hello. Thank you for hating us. Nandiyan sa thread natin. And then if you guys have any more suggestions on what you guys want to hear or ano mga gusto niyang pag-usapan namin, Sabihan niya lang kami kasi we'd be, we'd be more than happy to do it for y'alls. Hindi, hindi, hindi namin nakita. Owen Wilson Sanchez. Ayan. Shout out kay Owen Wilson Sanchez. Send awesome. us an email. Kailan na ah. Artista yun. <laughs> Tang in na mo din. <laughs> Questions. O- Owen. Reactions. Suggestions. Comments. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Subscribe. Subscribe. Notify. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go.